Good morning. And first of all, I would like to thank the organization of the International Thermal Health Tourism Forum um, that is uh, uh, held in Turkey. Um, I'm very pleased to be here and to uh, and for the invitation to speak about one of my babies, professional babies. Um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I could not be there uh, in person. Uh, but I'm here, uh, an online virgin, but feel free to um, uh, contact me uh, by my emails after this presentation if you have any doubts or questions or to know more about the topics that I will like to, to speak. So um, the proposal uh, for this uh, lecture is to talk about the International Organization of Aquatic Physiotherapists, the UAPT, um, and the future of aquatic physiotherapy. So I hope at the end of this um, lecture, uh, at, at this presentation, um, it could be more clear the future steps of aquatic physiotherapy. So uh, before I start to speak about the UAPT, I think it's important to um, present myself. My name is Cesar Sa and who am I and where do I work? So this is a lot of photos of my um, uh, professional life uh, as um, an aquatic physiotherapist, as a, a physiotherapist in land, as a teacher, as a presenter. Um, so I have a lot of um, um, issues in my life, in professional life. So who am I? Uh, as I said, uh, my name is Cesar Sá. I'm a Portuguese physiotherapist. So I live in Portugal, uh, very near the capital, Lisbon. But all my family is in the north of Portugal. Uh, where is more freezing. Uh, so I have 39 years and I work as a physiotherapist and aquatic physiotherapist uh, mostly at uh, 11 years. So where do I work? Uh, since 2000 and something, <laughs> I work in an institution that supports babies, children, and adults with incapacities, disabilities. Um, and I mostly work with children and babies um, in schools, in, um, uh, in their homes, in the pool. So I have these two options in land and um, in, um, in the pool to work with these uh, children. Um, and I'm one of the directors of this inst institution. Um, I'm also an assistant teacher of aquatic physiotherapy in the basic course of physiotherapy in Esatla, the one of the universities of Lisbon that has the course of physiotherapy. Um, and I have my private practice with two offices uh, where I give um, um, sessions of physiotherapy and aquatic physiotherapy and where I coordinate one of the offices with a team of 20 people. Um, after this, uh, I have a volunteer work. Uh, I'm the coordinator of the um, uh, working group of aquatic physiotherapy of the Order of Physiotherapists in Portugal. Um, and I'm the actual president uh, of the interest group of physiotherapy of aquatic physiotherapy um, from the Portuguese Association of Physiotherapists. So I have these two complementary uh, um, uh, cards. Um, and finally, I'm the president of the International Organization of Aquatic Physiotherapists, a specialty group of full physiotherapy founded since 2019. Uh, before I start to speak about the UAPT and the future steps of uh, this um, area of expertise, um, I think it's important to clarify what is aquatic physiotherapy. So it's an exclusive area of physiotherapy, which is based on clinical reasoning aimed at assessment and intervention in the aquatic environment 
with the application of the specific techniques and strategies, taking advantage of the physical chemical effects and the properties of water, combined with the deep knowledge of hu human movement in this environment that the physiotherapists have. So aquatic physiotherapy can be performed individually or in group as a single form of treatment or as a complement to another modality. Aquatic physiotherapy has three big areas. Uh, the therapeutic, with the focus on recovery, rehabilitation from traumatic and or acquired conditions, clinical conditions and or surgeries with the goal of promoting the individual's function and quality of life, among others. The preventive area uh, that includes education related to the individual health condition, training in self-efficacy and self-management strategies, disease prevention and health promotion, maintenance and improvement of well-being and quality of life. And finally, the rec recreational part area or playful, uh, it is related to the promotion of social interaction, the improvement of self-esteem and general well-being, including the training of activities to stimulate memory and motor coordination, among others too. So, the proposal of this presentation. Uh, what is the UAPT? So maybe some of you, I hope a lot of you know what is UAPT, but some of you may not know yet uh, about this specialty group. So I will try to present it in the best way I can. So the idea behind the creation of the UAPT, it's very important to share because um, in 2011, in my first con World Congress of Physiotherapy that was held in Amsterdam, uh, I have the luck. Uh, I had the luck to be there in person, representing the um, interest group of Portugal of aquatic physiotherapy, and in the networking session of aquatic physiotherapy that World Physiotherapy Congress uh, held uh, in each country in each uh, congress um i met um aquatic physiotherapists around the world the aquatic physiotherapists that wrote books like 20 years ago that make the research that uh, we started to use in our practice so um in this year we started to bond these different countries and different persons with different uh, ages and expertise and experience try to um, have like um, a symbiotic um, uh, coordination and we started to talk about why don't create an international group of aquatic physiotherapy to try to uniformize some of the guidelines of our practice and education and research. So in the next Congress in 2015, where I present my uh, the results of my master thesis, um, I met uh, mostly the same persons that were in 2011 and others, new persons. So um, this idea and of creating uh, a group inside the world physiotherapy um, evolved. And we started to um, talk with the direction of the world physiotherapy. What are the requisites to build and to found uh, this group? So in 2017, in the South Africa Congress in Cape Town, um, I was the moderator of the networking session of aquatic physiotherapy, and um, we we need ten countries, ten different countries from um, each region of the world to have like the requisites to um, uh, ask world physiotherapy to found this group. So um, South Africa join us. And then we submit the application for um, the creation of this specialty group 
in uh, 2019 and it was voted in the general meeting in Geneva in 2019. Uh, so um, we born in that year. So the UAPT is a global physiotherapy specialty group from World Physiotherapy that was created um, at the World Physiotherapy Congress in Geneva called the International Organization of Aquatic Physiotherapists. I bring you here our website that is allocated in the World Physiotherapy website where you can find all the information about these specialty groups, the members, the countries, and our objectives, um, documents that we um, publish, um, and our contacts. So about the UAPT vision is to support, develop, and promote global excellence and unity in clinical and academic, academic standards for aquatic physiotherapy in order to maximize impact or improving health and well-being. About our mission, in order to promote the effective practice of aquatic physiotherapy worldwide, the mission of the UAPT is to promote and main maintain high standards of specialized education, training, guidance, and clinical practice in aquatic physiotherapy, to promote and support professional development in this area, to promote and facilitate evidence-based practice and research among its members, develop and disseminate new and current resources in aquatic physiotherapy. Um, other is to work towards international unity, conformity of educational standards of practice among uh, aquatic physiotherapists, provide opportunities to gather, nurture, and grow the international community of aquatic physiotherapists by providing a platform for communication, collaboration, networking, and information exchange, like we are doing today in this uh, amazing uh, forum. Collaborate with international stakeholders to participate in development of policies, uh, and legislation within the global field of water sports, communicate and collaborate effectively with its members and other organizations, and finally to communicate widely the purpose and level of specialization of aquatic physiotherapists among our community and in other healthcare disciplines and at the general public too. About the objectives of the UAPT, we have a lot. <laughs> so one of them is to develop and promote the advancement of this area, to represent this area at an international level, to act as a knowledge hub, facilitating connections and networking between members around the world, creating opportunities for members to meet, collaborate, and share research. And it, this objective is very important because um, we started with 10 uh, member countries and now we have 27. And most of the countries that um, started to belong to the UAPT um, in these past four years of living, uh, it's important to see how they grow since they um, entered the UAPT. So the exchange, the connection, the networking created um, real opportunities for uh, most of our members. So I hope that Turkey can become a member very, very soon. Uh, other objective is to develop and promote high standards of education, research and practice encourage communication, information exchange, uh, and organization of educational events for aquatic physiotherapists, encourage scientific research and promote the practice of evidence-based physiotherapy in areas relevant to this uh, aquatic physiotherapy, the development of national organizations that share the objectives of the UAPT, to facilitate international and interprofessional collaboration and to support the development of aquatic physiotherapy in emerging countries. So I bring you here the new UAPT Executive Committee that was um, um, voted uh, uh, last year in May 
So I'm the president. Gloria is the vice president from Chile. From United Kingdom, we have Julie, the treasurer. The secretary is Billy So from Hong Kong. And we have two members at large, Karen from Mexico and Yara from Puerto Rico. And the communications lead is Costas from Greece. So these seven are the leaders of this specialty group. And these are the countries that belong to the UAPT. So as you can see, we have countries from all around the world. And these are the faces of the countries. So each country have an uh, individual representative that share the information to their organization. So these are the faces that are working together to unify aquatic physiotherapy around the world. We have a flyer that is uh, with, that have all the information that I give you already. So if you like to share, you can see it in our website. And we took a big step in the development of aquatic physiotherapy, but we need all of you aquatic physiotherapists from all around the world to help us in this mission. So the recent creation of this worldwide specialty group of aquatic physiotherapy um, incorporated in the world physiotherapy is the validation of the scientific evolution and the importance of specialization in this area throughout the world. In this specialty group, professionals develop an in-deep work of international operationalization of guidelines for practice and specialized training. If this is a present with an increase increasingly solid future aimed at the organization and development of aquatic physiotherapists interested in promoting care for users and clients. How to become a member of the UAPT? So members must be the national professional organizations representing physiotherapists interested in aquatic physiotherapy, which are recognized by the World Physiotherapy Member Organization or the World Physiotherapy Member Organization itself, where such a group does not exist. Members of the groups must also be members of the World Physiotherapy Member Organization, and only one organization per country will be eligible for membership. So about the UAPT strategy plan, so Future steps. The UAPT carry out two surveys to all its members um, for them to complete in order to characterize the practice of aquatic physiotherapy worldwide in education, working conditions, guidance documents, evaluation and intervention methods, and future steps that these countries would like to um, UAPT help them. So these are the five main topics that the service will uh, evaluate um, the member countries and the practice of aquatic physiotherapy. So this is a big uh, question, is how to define the identity of aquatic physiotherapists in, at an inter international level? So the UAPT started to prepare the following documents the competency profile uh, and aquatic physiotherapy skills, the global guidelines for physiotherapists intervention in aquatic physiotherapy, and the rules of good practice for the provision of aquatic physiotherapy services. So we are finishing these documents. The um, executive committee is finishing these documents for them to send it to the members, to the members reply, uh, put some um, discussion in the, in the documents, and then publish them to worldwide. So, and we hope that these documents could help uh, each aquatic physiotherapy around the world to have good practice, to have the right competences, and to try to um, give to the patients the best treatment they can. So these documents will thus help to define the identity of the aquatic physiotherapy at an international level and the contributions 
um, with the contribution of the realities of all the members of the WPT. So it will be uh, very rich because all the members will contribute to the final um, version of the documents. I would like to share uh, one of our biggest steps in these past four years of existence. It was the um, creation of a working group in Latin America called Latin American Union of Aquatic Physiotherapy. So we started to have uh, some isolated countries from Latin America, and they, but they don't have a lot of formation. There was, uh, they were very needed of courses to learn um, and they have the conditions to practice this area of expertise. So we started to gather these um, individual countries from Latin America and they uh, make like a fusion and it was created this group and they created like an a program, a basic program for all physio aquatic physiotherapists around the Latin America could uh, do this course and to learn the basics of the intervention of uh, an aquatic physiotherapist. So um, we started to um, like a, um, a pilot program and now we would like to replicate this program and this working group in other regions of the world. So in Asia, in Africa, and maybe in other regions too. So finally, the future steps. So what are the future of aquatic physiotherapy? So for the UAPT, the future will be this next step. So to publish the results of the information obtained through the service, to create and publish a guide document of the basic contents in knowledge at the educational level in the basic and postgraduate course that the aquatic physiotherapists must possess, to create an education and research committees within the UAPT, and create the documents of the competency profile of aquatic physiotherapists and the guidelines for group practice for the provision of aquatic physiotherapy services. We would like to promote webinars, meetings, workshops, congresses on various topics in the area of aquatic physiotherapy um, and to promote dissemination of the initiatives of the members of the UAPT in the field of education, training and research. We would like to help to continue helping the working group of the Latin America UAPT and its training and updating the program in aquatic physiotherapy to other regions and to continue to help countries that want to become members, but they are struggling for that. So um, these are the next steps, the future uh, that would like to to see uh, by the UAPT. We believe that if we can do all of this, um, the um, aquatic physiotherapy will be much more recognized uh, and will be recognized as a specialization uh, because the environment is completely different than in land. So it's very important to define and uh, create and publish these documents, these guidance documents to comprove out that this area is very important uh, to our patients. So I finished my presentation. So thank you once again for the opportunity of sharing this, um, uh, this specialty group that brings me so much joy. Uh, and I'm not there in person, but feel my virtual hug. Uh, and I hope and I wish you a pleasant uh, rest of the Congress. Here are my contacts and here are the contacts of the UAPT. So social media, WhatsApp and other contacts. So feel free to contact me or contact the UAPT. So thank you so much. And I, see, I hope to see you all uh, very, very soon in person. Thank you.